Okay, good day everyone. Okay, so our topic for today is about experiment outcome sample space and event. Okay, so we have here, tell whether the following are the examples of table, three diagram, systematic listing, or fundamental principle. Okay, so what do you think? Okay, so this picture represent the table. Next, we have here, this pic uh, picture represent the uh, three diagram, okay. Okay, so this is a, uh, an example of the fundamental counting principle. And also we have here an example of a systematic listing. Okay, so let's see later what is table, three diagram, systematic listing, and fundamental counting principle. Okay, so we have also here an example of a table. Okay, so you might be surprised to learn that if you had just three shirts and two pairs of pants, you actually have six different outfits that you could wear. Suppose you have a black shirt, a brown shirt, and a white shirt. And you also have a blue jeans and a black jeans. Okay, how could we make six outfits? Okay, so we have here an illustration. Okay, so we have three shirts and also we have black pants and also we have jeans. Okay, so how can we make six outfits? Okay, let's see later. Okay, what is probability? Probability is the chance that some event will happen. Okay, so what is the chance that some event will happen? Okay, that is what we call probability. Next, we have a probability experiment. An action or trial through which specific result counts, measurements, or responses are obtained. Okay, so that is what we call probability, which is you are making an actions. Okay, so you are making an experiment. Okay, so that is what we call probability experiment. Okay, so we have here outcomes. The result of a single trial in a probability. Okay, so what is the outcome of your experiment? Okay, so what is the outcome of your single trial? Okay, so we have also here sample space, the set of all possible outcomes of a probability experiment. Okay, so that is what we call sample space, the set of all possible outcome of the experiment. And also we have here event, consists of one or more outcomes and is a subset of sample space. Okay, in the study of probability, an experiment is a process or investigation from which results are observed or recorded. Okay, an outcome is a possible result of an experiment. A sample space, again, is a set of all possible outcomes in the experiment. It is usually denoted by the letter S. Okay, a sample space can be written using the set notation. Okay, so we have here an example. We have our experiment or the first experiment of tossing a coin. Okay, so what is the possible outcomes? Okay, so the possible outcomes of tossing a coins are head or tail. Okay, the sample space or the S is head or tail. Okay. So next, we have experiment two or the second experiment, tossing a die. Okay, in tossing a die, our possible outcomes are the numbers one, two, three, four, uh, five, and six. Okay, so that is our possible outcomes. Okay, so our sample space are one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so that is our sample space. Okay, probability experiment. So another we have here, uh, enrolling a die. Okay, uh, the die, uh, the, the die is even. Okay, so the outcomes are, uh, the outcomes is three. Okay, the sample space are one, two, three, four, five, six. That is, that are our sample space. Okay, so what are our uh, event? Okay, so die is even. Okay, the, the event is, die is even. Okay, so our event are two, four, and six. 
Okay, so we have here an example of a sample space. Okay, so for example, uh, two coins are toast. Represent a sample space for this experiment by making a list, a uh, table, and a three diagram. Okay, so we have here a listing. We have here head. Uh, try to uh, try to toast uh, two uh, toast two coins. Okay, in toasting two coins. Okay, so we have here uh, head head. Head, tail, tail, head, and also tail, tail. Okay, so we have here also in a table. Okay, so we have here also the same. Head, 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 tail, tail, head, tail, tail. And also we have here a three diagram. Head, 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 tail, tail, head, and tail, tail. Okay, the sample space are, okay, head, 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 tail, tail, head, and uh, tail, tail. Next. Okay, so we have here another example. Okay, so for example, we have here, Raisa invited her classmates, Elaine, Angelica, and Justine in her birthday party. Okay, so she prepared a special table for them with chair arranged in a row. Okay, so we have here some questions. List all the possible seating arrangements, and then how many ways they can be seated in a row, and also show another way of finding the the answer in number one okay so we can uh, uh show another way in uh, for example in listing in systematic listing or in fundamental uh, uh fundamental counting principle or in a table okay here in systematic listing we have here elaine angelica and justine Elaine, Justine, Angelica. And also we have here Angelica, Elaine, Justine. And also we have here Angelica, Justine, Elaine. Okay, so we have here in a fifth uh, table, we have here uh, Justine, Angelica, Elaine. Okay, we have here Justine, Elaine, Angelica. Okay, so we have here six seating arrangements. Next, we have here three diagram. Okay, so that is three diagram. Okay, so we have here uh, this same, uh, Elaine, Angelica, Justine, and also Elaine, Angelica, Justine. Okay, so this is an example of a three diagram. Next, we have here, in a fundamental counting principle, we have here uh, in, a, in a first table, for example, we have the probability that Elaine, Angelica, and Justine will be seated in the uh, first uh, table. Okay, so for example, if uh, and, and in a, a table A, okay, so we have three possible. Okay, so if Elaine, Angelica, and Justine. Next, if uh, Angelica is seated in a, a table, then we have a probability that we have two, uh, two, uh, uh, two person, we have Angel, uh, Angelica and Justine. If Elaine seated in the uh, first table, okay, so we have Angelica and Justine in a uh, table B. Okay, if uh, Angelica seated in, uh, in, the, in the table B, so it means uh, Justine seated in the um, in the table C. Okay, so we have here in a fundamental counting principle, we have three times two times one is equals to six. Next, suppose you have a black shirt, a brown shirt, and a white shirt, and you also have a blue jeans and a black jeans uh, and a black pants. Okay, uh, our example earlier. Okay, so we have here a, a black, a uh, blue and white shirt. We have three shirts. And then we have uh, one black pants and also one jeans. Okay, so how many outfits can we make? Okay, so we have here a table. Okay, we have here black shirt, uh, black pants, and also black shirt, black jeans, brown shirt, black pants, brown shirt, uh, jeans, brown, uh, white shirt, black pants, white shirt, and jeans. Okay, so we have six outfits. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Hope you understand. Thank you.